Hello guys, welcome to another episode of IGCSC Biology Revision. Today we're going to be moving on and looking at the seventh section of the syllabus, human nutrition. And uh, within that topic, we're going to be looking at the first kind of component of that. And this is really just about the human diet. And within the whole section of uh, this topic of human nutrition, I think this is by far the least important, but I've decided to make a video on it anyway, so we'll get right onto it. So first of all, you need to be asking yourself, what does a person's dietary requirement depend upon? So first of all, age. Now, children require more protein per kilogram of body weight compared to adults. Now, that makes sense because children require energy to kind of grow and develop. Now, it doesn't mean they take in more food or more protein. That just means compared to their body weight, they uh, require higher proportions of protein than adults. Now, uh, gender also makes a difference because uh, generally males use up more energy than females. But of course, things like uh, physical activity also accounts for the uh, uh, dietary requirements as well because higher levels of physical activity will in the end increase the demand for nutrients. And that makes sense because we need nutrients to kind of, you know, uh, carry, out, carry out physical activities during the day. Now, pregnant women... Uh, also have higher demands uh, of nutrients uh, because they need to be able to supply the fetus with the energy uh, required for the development of that fetus. And uh, it's quite similar for breastfeeding mothers as well because they require high requirements of uh, things like vitamins and uh, water. <clears throat> Now, what is the definition of a balanced diet? Now, what you need to know is just kind of just kind of memorize this uh, definition here. A diet uh, that contains all the essential nutrients in the correct proportions uh, to maintain good health. Now, that is what we call a balanced diet. Now, the nutrients that we're talking about here are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Now, these we've covered in um, another video. And uh, furthermore, vitamins, mineral salts, fibers, and water. Now for vitamins, uh, you only really need to know vitamin C and D, although there are heaps more vitamins uh, in the world. And also for minerals, so it's for, for your course, you really only need to know iron and calcium. Uh, now you need to know the effects of malnutrition, and really a lot of these might already be common sense to you. But anyways, if you eat too much food that can lead to obesity now oppositely if you eat too little food that can result in starvation now if you eat too much animal fat that leads to a high level of cholesterol which can which sticks to the walls of your arteries and eventually block them off now we have a lot of arteries in our bodies but if this happens to our coronary artery which is the artery that supplies our heart with nutrients. Now that's a problem because that can lead to a heart attack and possibly um, coronary heart disease. Now, uh, if there's an imbalance of nutrients, okay, so if you have, for example, too many carbs, but in comparison to little protein, it can lead to kwashiorkor. And um, a lack of fiber in your diet can possibly lead to constipation, which can possibly lead to bowel cancer as well. So uh, that, that's a pretty bad thing. Now I'm not really going through any of these in detail, so um, if you would like to know more, then it's probably best for you to just kind of note these uh, terms down and have a good research on your own as well. Now uh, the essential nutrients that we've talked about here, uh, we've got these three kind of uh, categories here. We've got the nutrient uh, section, we've got uh, what, what their functions are, and their possible sources. Now. I've, I've put the last section here of sources just for the sake of completion, but really you can probably ignore this uh, last column here because really there's so many different sources that each of these nutrients can come from. It's really like, I don't, I don't think the, the examiners will really ask that. So you can probably ignore that. So we're just going to be looking at the first two columns here. Now carbohydrates, the function is uh, of course, a source of energy. Fats and oils, uh, energy insulation, hormones, etc. Proteins, growth, tissue repair, enzymes. Now, these three we've covered in, a, in another video already, so that's why I'm just skimming through them. Now, this is where it starts to get new. Vitamin C. Uh, now, vitamin C is important to maintain healthy skin and gums. And vitamin D, you need this to maintain your, uh, your bones. 
uh, the hardness of your bones and it also helps for calcium absorption in your small intestines as well and of course calcium is really good uh, and important because it keeps your bo uh, bones and teeth healthy and um, and is also important for blood clotting okay fiber now fiber is uh, indigestible kind of stuff that you eat now that's really important because it maintains bulk to undigested food that's passing through your digestive system and that's important because it allows your digestive system to kind of constantly push on the food through the system um, in order to pass from you know one end to the other uh, iron is very important because it is used to make hemoglobin and hemoglobin is an essential component of red blood cells which carries oxygen in our bodies and of course we can't really live without oxygen so that's that's very important too now water uh, we can't live without water because it does it just does so many things and I've just listed a few here okay so water is used for transport you know blood formation uh, it's used to make cytoplasm in cells um, and without water enzymes will not work at all because enzymes can only work in solution and uh, without any of these things we would not be alive right now so you can imagine how important water is to us and uh, you need to know a bit about deficiencies now vitamin C if you're vitamin C deficient then you'll get scurvy if you're uh, vitamin D de uh, deficient then you'll get rickets calcium uh, rickets and slow blood clotting iron anemia fiber constipation water dehydration now as I said I've I'm not really covering these in much detail um, because I'd like to focus more on the other topics of human nutrition but um, this is really just uh, the basics so if you would like to know more then it's probably best to go through your textbook or you know have a have a good kind of um, search through Google or something like that just to give um, just to get a better understanding of each of these things now I want you to focus on scurvy uh, rickets and uh, also possibly uh, kwashiorkor here okay so that's just a uh, self study that needs to be done so uh, thank you for watching um, now in the next couple of videos I'm going to be going through in detail uh, the topics here the elementary candle uh, mechanical chemical digestion and absorption so I'll see you then